failed former President Donald Trump did a rally this weekend in Ohio in support of vile Republican candidate for the Senate, J.D. Vance. Now, very often when Trump does these speeches, we go through the entire speech looking at little bits and pieces. I'm not going to do that today. Today, I want to take a different approach. I'm going to focus in on two specific rants, rants that only a very delusional an unhinged person would ever deliver. Now, don't be confused. Trump did all the normal stuff that he does at these rallies. He claimed he won in 2020. He says socialists have taken over the Democratic Party. He says mail in ballots are fraud. He did all of that. But I want to focus on two areas that are so absurd that they're almost comical. I've told you before how Donald Trump has seemed obsessed with water pressure, plumbing and toilets. <laughs> and many of you think that that's a joke. But he really is. And he went on one such rant. Now, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to play the whole toilet rant for you together just to give you a sense of how sick this guy is. Stick with it. It's minutes long. But that's the point here. This is what he's doing at a rally. I said, we're going to do something about it. And we did that with many industries. But that one, I went up to the Whirlpool factory where they make it. And it, it was incredible. And that's washers, dryers, all of that stuff, the dishwashers. And then we changed some rules, too. You know, I said, what's the problem? Can we help you? Well, they don't give us any water for the dishwasher. What does that mean? That we don't have enough water. You know, the ladies, usually mostly the ladies in some right. cases, just to protect myself. As far as Trump knows, it's usually women washing dishes. In some cases, the men. OK. <laughs> He'll say it was a terrible thing he said. He said only the ladies. What? No, no, there's some men out there, too. They're not so happy about it either. <laughs> but in the dishwashers, as an example, they had a little problem. What was the problem? They didn't give you any water. And it was so little water that you couldn't wash the dishes. So what do people do? They kept this is an issue Trump knows a lot about saying do it again, do it again, do it again. So by the time you do it 10 times, the dishes are finally there. You've wasted a lot of electricity and you spend more water than if you did it right. So I had a regulation where I let you have all the damn water you want for your dish. Now, of course, this is all a lie. Like I have one of these, you know, modern dishwashers that doesn't use a lot of water. I don't even have to scrape the dishes. I mean, they just they come out perfectly every time. Just and the same thing for your clothing, same thing for your clothing, for your dish, for your dishwashers, great. But for your washers and dryers in the washers, they had no water coming out. And I just asked these simple questions to the head of Whirlpool. Who the hell knows better than him? I said, do you have a problem? Yeah, the problem is there's not enough water. I also did it, by the way, for your sinks. You ever go to a new home? You buy a nice new home because of the Trump policies. Homes were going up like crazy. By the way, I hate to tell you, the stock market dropped over a thousand points. Uh, Free association of ideas all over the place. But he eventually gets back to his favorite, which is toilets on Friday. Lots of luck, everybody. But you ever go into a new home and you turn on the faucet and there's no water comes out. They have restrictions. And, you know, we're talking about places you don't have a water problem. A lot of say most states don't have a water problem. In fact, you do have a water problem. You have too much water. You don't know what to do with it. <laughs> So they have restrictors. So you're sitting there washing your hands. And it'll come on, water, come out, baby. I want to wash. My I have to tell you, if this guy hadn't been president of the United States, like in a normal country where this guy wouldn't be elected, this would actually be hilarious. Like this is hilarious. But they made this guy president. I got rid of it. Same thing with showers. I'd go into a shower and I'd go to a hotel that was new. And I said, I can't stay in these places. Why? The water just drips out a little bit slowly. I want to take good care of my hair. I don't want that. No, it's true. I mean, I put the soap in. It takes you 20 minutes to have the water come out to get the damn soap out of your hair. But uh, and I won't talk about the third element of a bathroom, because every time I do, the fake news only talks about. Yep. He when he when he goes. His real passion is toilets and flushing them 10 to 15 times, but he gets punished when he talks about it. But you know what I'm talking about. One time, two times, five times, 10 times. No water comes out. So can anybody in the audience tell me if you've had to flush a toilet 10 times? I mean, really, in all, in all honesty, Trump is obsessed with this and I don't know what he's flushing. We know sometimes he flushes secret documents. Maybe that's why he's flushing 10 times. I totally took that out and we 
made it so that when you have a sink, you can actually wash your hands normally, and you can take a shower, and you can do that other thing normally, all right? The third element of the bathroom. <laughs> so we did it with the dryers. We did it. So, guys, this it's insane. It's a three-minute rant about plumbing. Then Trump unprovoked brings up the dementia test. OK, starts out of thin air. There's no rhyme or reason. And again, we're doing this a little differently. This is the full dementia rant. And Liz, he's bragging about it. It's he thinks it's an IQ test. It's just meant to screen for serious dementia. Dr. Ronnie and many doctors and I aced it. And, you know, now they don't call me stupid. They say he's a dictator. He wants to take over the world. You know, they used to call me J.D. Uh, they may they said maybe stupid. So I said to Doc Ronnie, you know, Doc Ronnie is now a great congressman in Texas. Great. Very popular guy. I think he won by like 52 points or something. Right. But he's now a great congressman. I said, Ronnie, uh, I don't like when people call me stupid. I had great heritage, an uncle who was a great, great genius. By the way, great heritage. I guess Trump thinks he's predisposed to be smart because his uncle was smart. It's weird heritage. It's almost like saying he had good blood. Father who was a genius. Everybody else. We have a lot of geniuses. I don't like being called stupid. Is there a test or something I can take to prove to these radical left maniacs? Yeah, the test would maybe be an IQ test, even though that's questionable, not just a dementia screen that I'm much smarter than them. Is there a test? And he said, sir, there is a test. It's called a X test. I said, what's it like? He said, well, it's uh, gets very tough. The first questions are easy. <laughs> And the middle of the test gets tough. And now we all know it doesn't get tough. We went we've gone through the test. It's the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. And the test is quite tough, sir, actually. I said, well, what happens if I don't do well? He said, well, you know, it's uh, it's at this great hospital. You know, our great military hospital. We all know our military hospital and the system is incredible, incredible doctor. So I said, uh, Walter Reed, I said, uh, by the way, it's just a piece of paper. You don't even really need to go to a hospital to take this test. It's just it's a single piece of paper. Let me take it. He said, sir, here's the problem. If you don't do well, everyone's going to be reading about it on the front pages. Now, of course, that's not true, because they would if he didn't do well, they would just never talk about it. I said, and I, if I do do well, nobody's going to talk about it. That's the way it works with the fake news. They don't talk about it. So I said, he said, and other people are present while you're taking it, sir. I said, let's go, Dr. Ronnie. Give me that goddamn test, right? I want to take that test. Give me that test, Dr. Ronnie. <laughs> so they gave it to me and they started asking questions. And some, you know, around the third or fourth or fifth question, sir, sir, name five things. <laughs> they named five things alike. A group of people. Now, Trump here is struggling to even do it. He's actually struggling. Ohio. A fake teleprompter that I never end up using. <laughs> and the fake news. Thank you, sir, very much. Thank you. Then they come back to you 20 minutes later, name the five things you named. And I hit it perfectly. That's pretty tough. It's like a hole in one in golf. It's really tough to do. They say nobody hits that one. And when we told that, you know, we told it on Fox. I hope Fox gets all straightened out. All right. I can't I, I really can't do any more um, bragging about a dementia test and saying it makes them really, really smart. So a bizarre rally. One more clip. There were the normal glitches. Here is Trump struggling to say Dropbox. No more Dropbox. The Dropboxes are just so bad. No more. <laughs> All right. So listen, this is a guy who, if he was not president at one point, would be hilarious. This would be absolutely hilarious. It would almost be it would almost be lovably hilarious. My dementia test and I'm mad about flushing toilets. He was president and he was using those toilets to flush secret documents. And it is absolutely horrifying. One of our sponsors is called Privacy. Privacy is a totally free service that I've been using for years. Privacy lets me create virtual payment cards with one click. And when I use the virtual card, the money is taken out of my bank account. You can create multiple cards, delete them, freeze them, set a spending limit on them. Let's say I'm signing up for a free trial and it requires a credit card. Privacy will autofill a virtual card number. And then after signing up, 
I can delete that virtual card so I know I'm not going to be charged again. Something really useful and very practical. Or let's say I'm ordering food over the phone, but I left my wallet somewhere. I don't have my real credit card on me. I can use a virtual card on my privacy mobile app. But really, the best part is you're not out there exposing your real credit card number. So you're not as susceptible to data breaches and identity theft. Privacy is a totally free service and you'll get five bucks to spend when you go to privacy.com slash Pacman. The link is right underneath this video.